my YouTube channel. My name is Roxanne, the Tiny Taster, and today's recipe is a fantastic, auspicious Parsi style Sagannu Sev. Now, in any Parsi household, you will have this Sagannu Sev or just Sev. It's basically vermicelli that's cooked um, with sugar and ghee and garnished with fried nuts, and it's cooked and eaten on any auspicious occasion, a wedding or birthday or something good that's happening. It's a celebratory, auspicious, uh, happy meal, so to speak. Uh, it's always accompanied with our Parsi version of dahi, what we call mittu dahi or sweet dahi. It's it's not like the Bengalis have that sweet dahi. This is a little bit different, um, but delicious. And I have a recipe for that as well, which I'm gonna link down below. So make sure you check that out. The combination of the two is perfect, but the save can be eaten uh, on its own, however you like. Often it's eaten for breakfast. It's a very popular breakfast item, but in my household, we like to eat it almost like a dessert. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you do, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a recipe. Really hope you enjoy this. And without further ado, let's get cooking. For this recipe, you're going to need some roasted vermicelli or save as we call it. I've gone with this brand, elephant brand, but really you could use any. You'll need some chopped nuts. I've picked almonds, some chironji or charoti like we say and raisins, but you could use any that you like. It doesn't matter. You'll need some ghee, buffalo or cow, it doesn't matter, sugar and some cardamom powder. The first thing you're going to do is break the save or vermicelli into smaller bits. It does tend to get a little bit messy. I should have used a bigger bowl, especially if I'm using the whole packet. But you want to break it down so that it's more manageable and easier to cook. The smaller the pieces, the easier it gets. Now I like to use a non-stick pan so it just becomes easier and things don't get sticky. Add in a generous dollop of ghee and then all your chopped nuts and just fry it up till the raisins sort of become nice and plump and the nuts roast a little bit and then remove it and keep it aside. This is going to be a garnish towards the end. Now in the same pan which has all the residual bits, add a little bit more ghee and a generous amount of sugar. Please add more than what you see I've used here. I'm going to put the exact measurements in the description box below. So please check that out. But add in your sugar and let it melt in the ghee for about 2-3 to three minutes. Once the sugar starts to melt, add in your save or your vermicelli. You could do this bit by bit because you won't be able to cook everything at one go in the pot. You'll need a larger pot for that. So I've cooked this in batches, but you just start to gently cook the save in this sugar and ghee mixture. Be warned, this is a game of patience. It does not melt that easily. It does not break down that easily. It takes time, but don't worry. It eventually starts to soften and cook, but it does take time. So be a little patient and at the same time, try not to burn this. Try to coat it and mix it about so that all the save gets roasted evenly. You'll notice the save tends to cook on the bottom but not so much on the top so you will have to keep moving it about and then start adding little bits of water. Once you add water to this save it starts to melt and cook a little bit better. The vermicelli will soften which is what you want. I do not add an entire cup of water at one go because you don't want it to be too much water and then have it become clunky or cloggy so this is like I said a game of patience you I add a little bit of water at each stage and just keep mixing it and cooking it down it also helps the sugar to melt in case you find there are certain bits of granulated sugar that have hasn't melted the water will help to melt it and mix completely You'll notice the save starting to soften and that's when you know that it's starting to come together. It will still need more water, if you, especially if you find bits that are clumpy or that are still hard. There's no rule to how much water you can add. You could add as much as it needs. Just my only request is that you add it in batches so you don't overcook it and make it completely lumpy. 
the last step is to add some cardamom powder for flavoring some people like to add a little bit of rose water or even some nutmeg you could do that i don't see the need to i just add a little bit of cardamom powder for flavoring little more water if needed give it a couple of tosses and then i just put it in my serving bowl i like to serve this hot and then top it off with my garnish which is the nuts that i fried earlier the raisins the almonds it all looks beautiful and plump and this is really it your sagannu save is done this is a great breakfast dish it's a great snack it's a great dessert it's quite multi purpose actually and as i mentioned before we like to serve this with another dish that we call mithu dai or sweet dai so i've done that here i'm going to link the recipe for this dai as well in the description box there's an entire video that i'm posting about this so just make sure to check that out as well it's a wonderful combination the two of them So I hope you enjoy it. It's really auspicious, and especially with Navros round the corner, this is something that we make and we eat and enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys very very soon.